everyone, Dave Floss here with Prometheus Falling Studios, and today we're going to revisit the Repo Point 3D Scanner. So stick around. So as I said, today we're going to revisit the Revo Point 3D Scanner. And why are we revisiting uh, the Revo Point 3D Scanner? Well, we posted a video a few weeks ago comparing the Revo Point to some of the other devices that we've used, and uh, several people pointed out that we were using a older version of the Revo Point software. We were using version 4.1. something, and there is a more recent version of 5.1. something. Uh, so to be as fair in our comparison as possible. We are going to redo uh, at least a couple of the scans that we had done in that comparison and see if we have a you know measurable or significant change in the quality of the output. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be scanning two items at least and they are two of the same items that we used in our last video to ensure that we're giving the best one-to-one -one comparison. Now I am not going to be redoing the scans that we did with the ferret or the seal um, or the Einscan device because I have other videos that go through those and, and talk about those. And ultimately, the, the Einscan and the seal gave us very decent results on the couple items we did. However, we had okay results with one of our items on the Repo Point device and uh, not great results uh, on another one, which is this uh, green APC turret from a GI Joe vehicle. So we're going to use these two again to kind of baseline and compare uh, how that turned out. And if necessary, I will reference the previous video to show if there's been a significant change, improvement, uh, what have you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and switch over and go and place our first object um, on the on the rotating bed there. We have our Revo Point uh, device right here. Uh, some people had asked what Revo Point device we had, and this is the Revo Point Mini. Uh, it uses a single USB uh, connection, uh, no separate power, um, and we have it right here on a tripod. So let's go ahead and look at our software. We're gonna go ahead and launch now the Revo Point. It's Cut off by the window here, but we have, I'll move it over here, Revo Point 5 scan, or Revo Scan 5, and we're going to go ahead and launch that, and we'll say allow. The first time I'm launching it, uh, it's funny, it's brought in previous projects, so that's kind of nice that it, it recognized it was maybe as an upgrade. It sees our scanner is connected, so far, so good. Let us go ahead and start a new project. And I will say right out the bat, what an incredible difference in in just the amount of stuff that I see. If you look at our previous video, um, it was, I would say, really rudimentary. Um, and uh, this seems to be, have a, at least a lot more settings and choices. Um, so let's go ahead and first let's position our camera, try to get the best. Can see our our scale here right from from quality and distance so let's see i'm gonna try moving it okay it's too far so it wants it closer so I'm bring it close oh we're almost in the excellent range oh that's looking pretty good So I'm right in that excellent range. And you can see if I go back to just the machine, our machine is really close. I mean, and, and that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's interesting that it's pretty close uh, compared to usually the distance you see with the other devices. But, you know, I'm gonna follow the software prompts uh, to give us an idea of, of where it should be. So let's go back to um, take a look here. So we can see we're kind of in that uh, excellent range here. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of make sure that my item is, is centered. Uh, I'll go with auto expose. Oh, no, I'll go with auto exposure. I think that's, that's good. Um, I'm going to kind of just do auto on everything and let's, uh, let's take a look quickly at these settings just to make sure, uh, we have high accuracy. Our choices are standard or high. Let's go high, I think it, you know, give us the best possible, um, uh, quality output. 
Uh, I think we're going to go with feature tracking. I do have the marker bed, but we don't have markers on the object. So we're going to go with feature tracking and then the type of object. And this is a uh, general object, not a dark object. I do. It's interesting that they have the option for dark object. And I'm curious to try that out. Um, we're not going to do color scanning. It's not necessary. I don't need uh, any of that. Um, and, you know, we're, right now we're floating re really between good and excellent. I think now's the time from a simplicity is... Uh, let us just quickly scroll here. Accessories, dual access, turntable. It's not a dual access, it's just a single access. We don't have a handheld stabilizer. Before you scan, please look through your object type. Scan mode after. Okay, so this gives us some, some information and guidance. Let's, you know what, let's go ahead and let's go to the top and click start. It looks like we're pulling or the device is set to pull 15.2 frames per second. Let's just let it, let's let it run. We can see down here, and it's cut off by me, so I'm gonna move the screen just a little bit so you can see it. We can see the frame count pulling down here. Um, when we were using the seal device, it averaged about 800 uh, frames. Uh, we'll see how many frames this runs. I'm gonna let it do a full, full pass. It looks like it's captured a lot. Um, and it's going all the way around at least once. So we should have a complete 360 degree rotation. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and hit complete. I'll recenter here. And we have a really decent scan. Um, so that's really good. And I will say that the, the software uh, is a significant improvement. So your feedback was heard and I appreciate it. You know, I, I you know, sometimes in my haste uh, to do a comparison is I forget to double check that the device that I've been using um, might have an update on the software or the firmware. So I appreciate that feedback. It definitely helps. And we can see a significant, uh, I think, really good improvement here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, I'm going to call this at least comparable, if not even better, than the results we had with the previous software. So I'm, I'm happy with it. And I expect that this is literally the item that comes with it for you to test your scanner. Um, so now let's go to something that didn't turn out quite as good, which was that APC turret, and take a look at that. I'm going to remove that item. I'm going to go ahead and place the turret on there. I think here, I want to say I should be pulling it back a little bit because it's a bigger item, but. I'm going to try my best to get it in the excellent range and give it just enough because I don't really want to cut it off. It looks to be maybe the sweet spot right there. Everything is at some point coming into frame. Um, we're going to leave all of our settings the same and let's go ahead and hit start. Let's see how this turns out. I mean, I will say already, it looks to be doing a much more complete job. It's filling in a lot of areas that on the previous software did not work as well. And that is, we'll wait and see what the actual output looks like, but that is already looking much cleaner. There's a lot less noise uh, that we saw in the previous one. Um, we've done a full 360. Let's go ahead and hit complete. Let's take a look. I will also say that my experience with this version is that it is phenomenally faster. Um, the other one from a pro post-processing and even to give us the, the initial output, um, I would argue was kind of laggy. And this one, uh, as you can see, I, you know, real time we're, we're using this. Um, yeah, I mean, this is... This, I mean, I don't even need to show you. You can look at the other video, but I can just tell you flat out this is a... Uh, 180 degree difference. I mean, it is it is a phenomenally improved uh, scan. Um, you know, I'm looking at things like some of it's not a super fine detail item, which is fine. But um, you know, when we get in and you know, as you scroll, unfortunately, it 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 blows it out. But as we look here, um, and you're looking at some of the features, let's go ahead and come just take a look at the actual object uh, for a second. Um, so when you look at the object and you look at the top. Right, you can see there are a number of little details, little etches in 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 there, and 
uh, around here. It's probably hard to see. Maybe if I get some better light on there. Let's try that. Woo! There we go. Oh, too much light. Uh, so I'm going to try it. See if I can get a little bit. So there, now you can start to see some of these finer details in here, right around the edges. And as we now switch and look at our, uh, uh, as we look at our software, we can really see that those have come out. We can see those edges. Um, again, this was really a basic, I mean, I literally just installed the software, ran it, and boom, there is, there is, uh, there is good quality, and I, you know, I could work with almost immediately. So I will, um, you know, as part of posting this video, I will also post an update on the previous video with a link and a retraction, uh, basically saying that with the updated software, the results are uh, significantly uh, different. So we're going to do one more scan, just because the last scan I did in the in the previous video um, really didn't come out at all. I mean, it was it didn't come out at all. Uh, and I think that given these two examples I've had uh, of significant improvement, it's worth giving it another go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use uh, this um, miniature uh, that I have. This is a, probably a thirty, about about a thirty-two millimeter miniature. It's got a pretty elaborate base. It's got a lot details and color different colors different uh it's got some silver and some sheen so some areas that generally are more challenging so it's kind of a good uh i think a really good way of of, of getting some balance so let's go ahead and place that on our bed again we're going to try to adjust our camera to get the best possible distance let's get that nice and close looks like we're in the center i'm going to lower it just a little bit still all right now it's telling them right in the in the excellent range, but I have to. There we go, I think. It's probably really good. So I can see our objects. Uh, I can see we're in the excellent range from a scan distance. Uh, still using pretty much auto, oh, auto on everything. I'm just letting the software do its thing, which thus far it's actually done a really good job. Uh, and let's go ahead and hit, uh, uh, let's start scanning and let's just see how this turns out. Now, again, this is a much smaller object. It's got a lot more fine details, uh, really fine details. Uh, it's got a variety of different paint colors and sheens. Uh, so some areas that might be more challenging. Now, you know, of course, caveat, I'm only doing a one pass, right? We're only doing one turn. So I totally accept there's going to be areas um underneath that it's not going to pick up and that's okay because really the key for me here is did it get enough quality on the first pass that it warrants a second pass it's worth even doing multiple passes on the first two objects we did i'd say absolutely yes uh and this one uh we're going to take a look but we can see here um it looks like i've gotten pretty complete there are some gaps right i can see some gaps in the, in the arm and around the belt and looking at those on the model those are black Right, those are black painted uh, items around the the cuff of the shirt and around the belt. But we've let it pass uh, two full complete rotations. Let's go ahead and hit complete. Again, I'm really amazed at just the speed uh, uh, working. I'm pretty happy with that. And let's take a look here, and it looks like we've got some pretty pretty good detail. Um, you know, the one hard part is it's hard to to um, blow it up too much because it gets very, very pixelated. So I'm trying to find the balance of, of distance. And I can see, you know, yeah, it missed some items down here that are black. Um, it had a little bit of trouble with the base, which has got a lot of uh, reflective surfaces. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do one thing because they've given us the option is I am going to, let me, let me pause before I make any changes. I think this is not bad. I think, I, you know, again, this is one of those items where even the the EinScan, the twenty five hundred dollar scanning device, is going to have some challenges with um, those black or highly reflective uh, colors. So this is not necessarily a dig on the Revo Point because it is also having a challenge picking that up. That's just uh, a, a known issue and challenge with really a, any uh, or a lot of pretty scanners. So that being said, let's go to New Scan. Let's leave all the settings where they were. You know, we've got excellent. We've got everything automatic. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to dark object. I just want to see what that does. Um, is it able to pick up more of those details? So let's go ahead and hit start. And again, we'll let it run. 
like to do full, two full rotation when it's an item that small i really want and already i'm seeing it looks like it is picking up more you know before we saw black uh or sorry blank areas here and around the belt this whole the whole line here for the belt that didn't come in so we're gonna let that let that rotate it looks to be filling in a little bit more so who knows and it also looks like we might be getting some more uh detail that we kind of missed out around the feet and excuse me around the base here so let's let let's let that second rotation pass to try to fill in any little bits it can I think that's I'll let it go about 700 and all right looks like we've done two full complete passes let's go ahead and complete we have our object let's kind of zoom in but just try to and actually it it did fill in look at that the the belt area and again as I blow it up you know you lose graphically speaking you lose a lot of the, the visual detail so it's hard to blow it up this big but as we look at it at, at this side, and I'm looking at areas like uh, the belt area, it's filled that in. The arm area has filled in more. I'm seeing a lot of uh, detail around, you know, where it had a vision. Of course, underneath where it can't see kind of the overhang, it didn't pick that up. But it picked up a lot more detail. This was a mess. I mean, this just really did not function or work well at all um in the previous version so i 100 percent accept that i stand corrected um and uh made made an error in not using the latest software to do a one by one comparison that said i would put the revo point me and the seal which are about the same price um very much on par with each other in fact i might lean just a little bit now toward the revo point because of this updated software it has a lot of great features that we haven't even delved into right and 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 for today i'm not going to go into all of these uh other features but these are features that we just didn't see before is uh, being able to smooth and simplify and uh do some mesh mixing um i'm actually pretty excited to get in here and and, and do some uh some experimenting so um you know I, I I guess I have to say I can't not recommend either one of these for somebody who's beginning as from plugging it in USB, uh, installing and launching the software and getting scanned that I think results would be uh, decent and well worth uh, working with. The answer is uh, the answer is yes. So uh, it happens. I made a mistake and uh, hopefully this will help uh, do a better side by side comparison. Um, Till next time, I'm Dave Gloss with Prometheus Falling Studios. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen. If you like the videos or want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And of course, uh, give us your feedback, other videos you'd like to see, other comparisons. We'll do our best to work them in. Thank you very much.